everybody for subhanahu wa ta'ala with you uh, our new subject today is uh, it's about single uh, flashing steam for uh, multi-stage flash uh, desalination this technique is uh, of modeling it is not uh, for power generation it is not for only uh, desalination by the use of uh, uh, geothermal energy okay uh, first of all you have to go to your destination folder specify your uh, model folder double clicking on your model and be sure that everything is, is in its correct uh, place view model browser okay um, going here everything is fine okay this is our model uh, our model is mainly consists of geothermal uh, we have a steam cycle as you can see here the steam cycle it's a flashing flashing tank for steam generation a, a brine heater uh, by for in order to utilize the flashing steam via a brine heater in order to operate thermally uh, multi-stage flash and this is multi-stage flash we, we demonstrated uh, many times before we are not going in in details with this with this technique we just uh, uh, demonstrating um, the whole cycle the whole plant uh, you can double clicking here and assign some uh, inputs okay first of all a steam cycle as you can see here we have geothermal for steam generation for hot water i'm sorry for hot water so and we have flash tank for complete steam uh, evaporation rest of uh, unsteamed uh, contents uh, will, uh, will be bombed again through the bombing unit okay uh, into uh, the ground okay uh, brine heater will um, is going to use uh, uh, the steam from flash cyclone in order to uh, uh, rise up the top brain temperature uh, of the matrices flash and we're going as normal uh, by the uh, matrices flash okay first of all uh, th th this is our cycle okay this is our model okay we have um geothermal well uh, bombing unit okay flash cyclone brine heater multi-stage flash and cost and performance blo uh, blocks if you are going to um, uh, extract some outputs or something like this okay uh, let's go for first of all we have to assign some inputs uh, in general we can assign uh, uh, operate a uh, total plant productivity okay ambient temperature in general put total plant product suppose i, I need uh, 5000 meter cube per day for multi-stage village okay this from outside let's go inside you have to double clicking on each unit in order to assign some uh, operating conditions or minor operating conditions uh, for uh, flash cyclone we have here uh, steam velocity i'll keep this design uh, limits brine heater uh, what is your uh, flow velocity uh, a brine heater effectiveness suppose i am going for 0.7 effectiveness okay was minor some losses thermal losses uh, uh, multi stage flash msf okay co temperature suppose it's um, 20 degrees celsius uh, brine heater uh, top brine heater temperature this top brine heater temperature here uh, normal values it's around 110 as usual uh, last stage temperature brine rejected temperature or brine blue down temperature i think it's around uh, 35 or 40 okay let's go for 40 uh, salinity ratios for seawater i suppose it's uh, i'll keep this number um, 48,000 ppm blue down salinity is 70,000 ppm split ratio uh, feed to seawater split ratio number of stages you can increase your number of stages because increasing number of stages will affect on performance it will it may increase the performance of your cycle and can lower your uh, specific costs okay we have um, total number 20 17 for uh, heat recovery and three for heat rejection sure you can um, you have 
uh, a complete al allowance and tolerance to change uh, these um, parameters and but you have to uh, be aware of your performance and constraints. We are uh, um, uh, friction, coefficient, some diameters and so on. Bumps, we have four bumps, feed, brine, distillate, recycle. You have to assign the efficiency and uh, electric power cost. For bump, I need just uh, efficiency. It's around normal 0.75. For GSM, yes, we do not see Okay, for uh, GSM, well, for uh, flash cyclone, okay, and GSM, well, we have to assign here uh, is it Euro standards or USA standards? Suppose I'm going for Euro standards, steam pipe diameter uh, an inch, okay, that we're clicking for cost analysis. We can assign operating hours, direct to capital costs. Uh, interest rates, uh, load factor, uh, plant lifetime, suppose it's 25, labor cost, chemical cost, and so on. Uh, just some investment costs, okay. Uh, okay, uh, I will keep this uh, uh, numeric values. Okay, let's um, set your simulation time to zero because this is a uh, single point uh, solution. And we have to hit, uh, hit hit run, okay. And let's wait a little bit while. Okay, we have here um, our. Let's go inside each unit, unit by unit, and inspect our results. Okay, for the thermal wheel, we have to. Well, temperature is going to become uh, 229, 230. Therefore, and we have total mass flow rate is around 43 kg per second. We have to dig around 7.3 km in depth in order to get our results, uh, 300 degrees Celsius. Silica concentration, uh, pressure losses, and wheel depths, uh, hold, um, pipe hole diameter, and pressure. For uh, bombing unit, we have um, pressure losses, high pressure, wheel temperature, and this is our bomb power. We need around 100 kilowatts of, of, of electric power uh, for bomb. Uh, for flash cyclone, okay, this is dryness fraction. Uh, it's around uh, 22 uh, percent. Uh, okay of of uh, of steam and we have here a flash tank water uh, um, uh, accumulated water and this is total total uh, mass flow rate flash cyclone design area um, diameter high width okay and you can um, survey some uh, output um, uh, physics thermal physical properties such as entropy uh, vapor entropy uh, top vapor tem uh, temperature condenser te um, temperature okay and um, uh, we have to go for brain heater yes this is our brain heater uh, we have length of the condenser condenser area steam mass flow rate steam mass flow rate it's around 9.7 kilogram per second this is our steam mass flow rate you can uh, we are going dynamically and see how can we change this uh, this is inlet steam temperature around 114 one, uh, one, 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 uh, top steam temperature inlet to the brain heater this one uh, this one it's around 100 and um, and 14 in order to get 110 okay quite normal based on your effectiveness of the rain heater okay multi-stage flash are many many data you can extract uh, total feed flow rate uh, f uh, makeup feed uh, uh, brain loss uh, recycle stream mass flow rate um, salinity of the recycle stream uh, feed splitter Second splitter ratio is around 0.7. Um, 
prime profile and distal profiles, temperature profiles, stage by stage, because it's 20 stage, you can go here. And this is prime profile along uh, 20 stages, as you can see here. Okay, and we have here uh, distal profile. Okay, uh, accumulated distillate. This, this is distal by stages, stage by stage. Um, uh, we have brine height. Uh, we have also gate height. Okay, many parameters you can extract from this uh, uh, model. Okay, this is our cost. So our total water price is around 3.1 uh, US dollar per meter cube. Okay, uh, this is um, hourly cost for Matsush Village, total annual costs, unit product cost, and uh, feed costs uh, related to the chemicals and so on. For performance, we have specific bulk consumption 5.2, gear ratio, and performance ratio for MSFF. MSF for um, a typically uh, 20 stages it's around 6.2 okay uh, i'm going dynamically so i have to set this for infinity infinity okay and suppose i'm going to change um, some parameters in order to realize what is going on with this one I need to discover the effect on flash cyclone uh, dryness fraction. It's quite interesting. I need to increase these percentages. So I will make some changes and realize uh, uh, what is going on with this one. Uh, so I have to prepare this. Double clicking here, going to the flash cyclone. Okay, let's make our changes. And um, okay, um, I think we have to go for uh, a flash cycle, multi stage flash, yes, multi stage flash. Um, okay, go to the flash cycle. Okay, let's go and change some. Product. First of all, I have to hit run first. I'm uh, going down here. Okay, I will keep my eye on this uh, percentages that's it run and make our changes okay uh, suppose i'm going to increase uh, total field uh, total uh, plant uh, uh, productivity okay there is no significant change on um, even up to uh, ten thousands meter cube per day okay suppose i need to change to brand temperature or decrease to brand temperature decrease to, to brand temperature will decrease um, the drainage the drain fraction so i have to go uh, more so increasing to brand temperature means that you need more steam so it will uh, normally increase up to 120 okay what about uh, brain brew downs i'm going for uh, Last stitch, I mean last uh, last stitch brine, increasing it will reduce the steam. Uh, so I have to decrease, decreasing down to 30, 32 degree. Okay. Uh, what about split ratio? Split ratio, uh, increasing split ratio. No significant. Uh, um, the result on this okay sea water temperature let's go and, and see here is it no no significant okay okay so suppose I am going to decrease uh, to brain temperature and see what is going on okay so to brain temperature uh, it can and brain blue down temperature uh, it can change the steam uh, of the flashing. Uh, what about the effectiveness of the brine heater? I'm going to see this. But first of all, you have to check this. You have to, before going to um, to data inspector, you have to, I'm uh, sorry, you have to double clicking here and select st stream signals. Be sure this small box is checked. 
and you have to rename your um, your stream signal okay double clicking okay put it here okay let's go for that inspector and see uh, our results okay okay these are our results okay for uh, hourly cost for multi as you can see fluctuating because which we made many many changes in uh, in uh, to brand temperature and brand blue down as you can see here changing fluctuating uh, total annual costs unit product costs total plant costs okay and total water price uh, total bombing power as you can see here this is this um, our uh, this is parameter is total pumping power for the whole cycle we have uh, five bombs in the, in the cycle well depth in feet changing according to the fluctuating in temperature of the steam uh, okay the whole diameter um, well hit pressure circuit concentration uh, well depth in kilometer uh, well temperature okay changing and uh, fluctuating because of our um, um, changing in uh, top and temperature pumping power okay uh, and we have here uh, flash tank height um, flash tank width okay flash tank volume a total mass flow rate and dryness fraction let's see the dryness fraction I'm sorry, the range, yes, the range fraction. So it's around 0 0.2, 0 0.25, 0 0.0, nearly 0 0.3 uh, of, per, of steam percentage in uh, in your cycle. Uh, it's quite interesting to address uh, the effect on uh, uh, on geothermal well. It's stream dynamically can work. Uh, you can extract your outputs. And you can find out um, if we attached desalination plant with the geothermal wheel, what is uh, the effect on design parameters based on uh, controlling some uh, operating conditions uh, around the, uh, the cycle itself. Finally, I would like to thank you very much for your interesting and rich liberal models. would like you to like and share and subscribe. Thank you very much.